As I was saying, the first game on our Steam Next Fest journey is Ship Graveyard Simulator 2. Uh, I played this one, uh, the, the first game of this, a long while back, uh, and I saw that they were uh, in development of a new game, uh, and I do believe they are aiming to address a lot of the wish list items from the first game. Um, stuff that they said they were going to do but never got into the first game, uh, and stuff that people have asked for since then. So we're going to see if they've delivered any of that yet, and then I'll be following, for, I'll, I'll be of course following the development to see what they end up delivering. So, new game. Oh, pretty. Pretty. Lots of boat hulls. Some dude flying by at the speed of light. Uh, that might even be me. Not entirely sure. Ship graveyard simulator. Ooh. It looks good so far. Yeah, it's it's got nice graphics. It's really loud. I wasn't expecting that, but that's okay. We'll fix that. Hmm. Hmm. For rent, you say? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Congratulations, you own the scrapyard. Okay. Thanks. Okay, new quest. Before we even do that, let's touch uh, a couple things here. Um, let's tone that down by a bit. Uh, let's do... Sensitivity... That is still way too high. That doesn't even appear to do anything. Alright, I'll use my damn mouse sensitivity. Oh lordy. Dude's dude's uh, dude's fast. They did not want you to waste time in this game. Uh, let's see if audio down more. Is it just me or is that not doing anything? Watching my watching my audio level bars. Peeking up to what negative? Peeking up to about negative twelve decibel. Howdy, kinder. How you doing? Uh, so let's do more. Kitty. Hi. Uh, nope. Still peeking up to negative twelve decibel. Sweet. So the audio settings do not appear to do anything. Awesome. All right. So um, hopefully y'all won't get deaf. Uh, I can, I think, turn this down. Oh, that's that's better. Okay. I have, I have windows windows sound down. That'll do. Okay. Um, so that's yet another bug to report. I've actually already reported two bugs before I even launched the game um, due to the Steam VR launching situation. Alright, so reach location. Oh, oh no, oh no, okay. Hang on. The sensitivity was only affecting vertical axis. <laughs> there we go, okay. <laughs> A little bit, uh, a little bit zippy left to right, but up and down is good. Gila, hi. This is not no. This is not time to scream at me, sir. No. Gila. Kitty face. Kitty face. Be good. Stay there. And stop yelling at me, please. Added more things to your VR set? Like what, exactly? Okay, uh, I need to report these as I find them. Otherwise, I'm never going to... Um, let's see. Alright, 
bugs reported. This is why we do testing. Um, okay, so it's very sensitive. I'm going to try really hard not to make it look uh, sickening to you guys, but we'll see. It's sickening to me as well with how sensitive it is. Howdy, bloody beer man. How are you doing? A Tai Chi program and a drawing program. Nice. All right, tutorial quest one completed. Throw stuff. Some stuff, like furniture other, or other light elements, can be picked up without any extra work. It's just free money. Press left to pick up, right to throw, space to continue. Okay. Chair. Uh, hook. I like the arc aim. I like the arc aim. Makes it easy to, to know where you're aiming. And it auto homes in on the truck, making it even nicer. Okay, destroy 12 blue container uh, connectors, take off five parts, throw 80 kg in the truck. Uh, construction elements are held by connectors. To get them first, you must break the connectors. Press left to hit, press right to bonk. The bonkening shall continue. Bonk. Bonk. All right. We're doing the thing. What does Bonk do? I don't know what Bonk does, actually. Let's see if we can drop this thing on my head. Hey! So this is the level of stuff that they were asking for in the first game. Um, the ability to uh, fully and completely disassemble ships. In the previous game, we just had a hull. And you, you stripped off kind of occasional bits of the hull, but mostly it was just all the stuff that was attached to it. All the various components. Bunk. Bunk. Okay. We shall take. We shall take. 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 Uh, we do have a player load, 50 kg. Okay. Um, I have a DPI setting on my mouse that lets me adjust the mouse settings, but I only have it go so low. Um, and I don't feel like adjusting any more than that to mess up my entirety of everything. Alright, um, so it wants more parts, so let's, let's go get more parts. Let's, let's, oh, hi. More parts. Oh god, I... I leaped too hard. Hammer. Too much weight. Character has a, lo a limited load. When you reach your load limit, you won't be able to pick up anything else. Throw it to the truck to keep scrapping. Okay, fine. Hook. Effective and safe scrapping. Yellow connectors. There are different types of connectors. Each one needs a specific tool. Yellow connectors can be broken with your saw. Halt the saw. Alright. Fuck that. Okay, I'm 
assuming those are under? Ah, okay. I see. And then bunk. And then pick up. Oh, I need to push down the part first. Bunk. And then let's uh let's, let's finish this connector. new quest red connectors and the final type of connectors that are red connectors which are broken with the burner hold left to burn I shall burn So that's a red connector. All right, so I am noticing that there's issues with verticality. Um, probably can get that from the other side of the stairs. somewhere. Let's bonk that. And fall through the floor. That's cool too. Yep. Alright, so where is this uh, weldy part? Ah, it's over there still. Okay, uh, let's get rid of the stairs. Juice. I like the destructibility, it's very well done. There's parts that are reliant on each other, if you cut all the stuff and you poke it with a stick it all falls apart. It's very nice. And I like the hucking mechanic, the hucking mechanic is nice. Uh, especially the fact that it aims at your truck kind of automatically so you don't have to feel like you're you're missing your aim or anything like that. Oh. Mine. 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 Uh, the only thing I'm not liking so far about the mechanic is the uh, the grab animation. When you do the grab animation, it locks you from grabbing another part until the animation is completed.
Bye. Can I just, uh... Close enough. Okay, so let's uh, let's bonk this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get, get rid of that. There we go. All right, so burn. Three more red connectors. Why you do that? I'm assuming that goes under the minor bugs category. I know, hell of a throwing arm. We're, we're talking, you know, 60 kilograms of shit, just hucked overhand, 50 plus feet away. It does kind of have that same feel to it, Pine. You're right. It does look a lot like the grab from Green Hill. It might be a stock uh, animation. Who knows? All right. Let's let's continue the bonking. Oh, did I finish taking everything from up there? I did not. Stairs. Okay. So, I've taken all that stuff. So we can bonkinate. Perfect. I mean, even if it did collapse while I was up there, I have really strong calves, and I can land just fine. I am curious how much the truck can hold. We also have a hell of a reach on this, uh, this hammer. Hello, tricks. I wonder if I'm taking too much time on this uh, tutorial mission. I, I see scrap, I must scrap. Aging well behind your years. Alright, now, can I huck from through this door? Not really. <laughs> Good. Good to know. 
Love it. Oh god, oh god. Nailed it. Um, so the red connectors are these right here. I was just partly having fun uh, disassembling things and partly trying to get to the red connectors. So I need to throw more more stuff in the trunk. Easy. Tutorial co quest complete. Drive to the sorting place. But what if I want more stuff? Telling me not to pick up all the stuff is practically blasphemy at this point. Yeah, yeah. So you have a 60, uh, 60 kilogram weight limit down at the very bottom corner on the on the left, and if you go over that weight limit, it just yells at you about it. No, oh, I don't know. I I didn't. I wasn't checking its grammar. I'm so used to these games being made from non-English developers that it occasional bad grammar doesn't even doesn't even phase me anymore. Oh no! Oh no! Um, give. This weights too much. Yes, this weights too much indeed. Well, tricks as long as long as you start getting better, that's all that matters. All right, what do you guys say? Do we continue scrapping, or do we do the actual tutorial? Trick says loot goblin, kinder says tutorial. Same straightforward, hop into the campaign. Screw the tutorial, I don't need to know how to do anything. So the problem with the tutorial is that it may let me keep all of my monies. Although I did accidentally scrap my staircase, so I can't actually get up there anymore. Um <laughs> So, uh, whoopsie doodle. Oh man, you legit have to worry about how you're gonna get up and down from these places. Oh no. I mean, I could attempt to take the floor out from under it. Let's attempt to take the floor out from under it to see if that's a thing. That sounded hazardous. Okay. Looks, looks kind of like... no. 
Ah. Yes. Looks kind of like yes. So that's that's two for the uh, the tutorial slash campaign and one for the loot goblin life. I feel I feel outgunned. Weights too much. Too much weights. I am le tired. I'm doing good. I'm uh I had my little nap. Got started on a little uh, little project for the Minecraft series. I'm doing good. I know, right? Like some good arm on this dude. Alright. I will I will be done from here. I will I will be done. Look. Okay, drive to sorting place. Let's go. Hong Kong, let me in. I knew I should have kept going. I knew I should have kept going. <laughs> that was it. End of demo. End of demo. I was actually really enjoying that. Nice destruction mechanics. A lot more complete uh, destruction mechanics than the first game. Um... A couple minor issues, already reported them, but it's good. That was the Ship Graveyard Simulator 2. I will be watching its development. Um, 30 minutes? A little bit less than 30 minutes, also howdy ace. Uh, it took me a little bit to get started, but that's okay. It was nice. It was. It, it's got. It's got some nice, looty, scrappy mechanics. Um, I am curious where they're going to take it because uh, the first game had a lot of elements of um, scrapping different types of material, and then using those different types of material to expand your base of operations. So um, I'm hoping they continue with that, and we're going to have you know different types of material that we get out of the scrapping bits. Um, we no longer have the cubes. Uh, the previous game had all the various cubes of different types of resources, and they were just, you could pile them up wherever, that kind of thing. Um, now the loot appears to be more uh, instantiated, I guess. Um, pick it up in your pocket, throw it into the truck. No real visibility to what you're, what types you're picking up. Um, so I'm wondering if they're slimming that mechanic down a little bit. I don't know. I, I'm definitely going to watch it, though. <laughs> Do it again. No. No, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, we will, however... Move on to the next game. It could be placeholder. Maybe that was just the the hucking mechanic was their their placeholder mechanic, and they're gonna flesh out the types of materials later. Because um, there was definitely uh, stuff like wooden cabinets and plastic chairs and stuff like that that we picked up. Um, none of that seemed to be counted as types of material, but that definitely could be, change in the future. Um, I will I will stay engaged in their Discord and see what happens. So. On to the next game. <laughs>